Okay, so recently I came across the existence of this uh, mysterious operating system called Zegosoft 1. And uh, apparently nobody knows who made it or why it exists or when it was made. So I decided to um, try it out for myself. Uh, I got this USB stick with it on here. And uh, this old Dell laptop thing that's probably from like the mid 2000s. So I'm just gonna plug it in here and then turn it on and it should boot from the USB stick. Okay, there we go. It looks like it booted and this is what it looks like. It's, it have a main menu here. Oh, and by the way, this screen is a bit messed up. Sorry about that. I didn't really feel like trying to find a way to work around that. So you just kind of have to deal with these dead pixels anyway. Uh, this looks like a very basic interface. Uh, so yeah, we have documents, games, and a calculator. I'm guessing these are kind of like programs. And we can get help, we can configure settings, or we can shut down. And apparently this is release 1.0. So, uh, let's try getting some help first, see what this is about. Okay, Zegosoft is fundamentally based on a concept known as Single Keystroke Guided Option Selection, or SKGOS. Uh, okay, this is very strange. Whenever Zegosoft must await human input, it will um, show a list of the options that the user may choose from. Each option consists of a name of a key, followed by a description of what the option is for. Okay, so this is strange. It's just explaining what this SKGOS thing is. They put a needless amount of detail into this description of how it works, but okay. SKGOS is relatively simple to grasp once one oh they put a typo in their OS frick well isn't that interesting one you practice it for a while you will eventually become very familiar with with SKGOS allowing you to perform tasks faster and boost your productivity press escape to return to main menu so I guess we can do that that's a very very strange uh, help document thing but moving right along, uh, let's try going to documents by pressing one. Oh, okay, that's a very bright color here, but I don't know if you can even see this. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, it looks fine. But yeah, anyway, uh, so here we have our documents, and it says one about Zygosoft. I'm guessing that's one of the documents, and like the only document that's like preloaded onto the system by default and we can make a new document or edit a document or escape to exit so let's try reading uh see so what happens when you press one to read this document okay so there we go viewing document about zegosoft um zegosoft is a computation created by the zegosoft team whose goal is to provide the world with maximally easy to use and enjoyable compus comp computations for the benefit of everyone. All are to employ Zegosoft on all their computational devices. Okay then. So, uh, I guess it's saying, you know, it's telling us, probably can barely read this, but it says we're currently using a Zegosoft 1, which indeed happens to be the case. And uh, it's saying if anything is wrong, you can send feedback, and apparently that that doesn't doesn't actually say any contact information besides whatever this is, which I assume is not a valid email address or anything. Uh, and then we have the Zegosoft Dream, a computational device in every conceivable corner of Earth running Zegosoft computations. Your acquisition of this copy of Zegosoft 1 has helped us become closer to making this dream come true. Thank you. Uh, Okay, so this is this is very strange, of course. Uh, I don't know. Again, nobody knows who made this or even why it exists, so, you know. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna press escape to exit this strange document. And uh, I'm just gonna try making a new document by um, pressing N. Oh. 
Okay, apparently there's a disk I.O. error. A uh, massive failure occurred while Zegosoft tried in double quotes, really kind of bashing their own system here, tried to write uh, to the disk, press escape to return to the main menu. Keyboard error, press any key to continue. Well, isn't, yeah, that's not really quirky, is it? Can't even, oh. Now it's beeping at me. Okay, so I guess I might just have to kind of restart this computer. Uh, I'm just going to restart it and just boot back into uh, the system. Okay, there we go. We rebooted. Uh, so I guess uh, none of that is working. Uh, let's just try seeing if the games work by, by uh, pressing 2. Uh, list of games, but then it's all this mess. No idea what this is, but, uh, does it do anything? Oh, Rick Astley's system error. <laughs> well, I guess I just got Rick rolled by Zegosoft. Um, uh, either that gives the idea that this was made sometime when the Rick roll meme was a thing, or maybe this is just a random reference to the 80s song, and maybe this was, in fact, made in, like, the 1980s or something. Because, you know, judging by the way this whole system looks, uh, it definitely looks like something that would be made in, like, the 1980s or early 90s, even. You know, it looks like it's kind of like a 16-bit, kind of looks dossy, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Uh, okay, it looks like in the middle of printing the Rickroll, it said, says, Fail Exception integer division by zero. No idea how that could have happened. Computer may or may not explode. Well, it hasn't exploded yet, so I think we're good. Maybe, possibly. Okay, let's just press escape to dismiss that message, and we're back to the main menu. Okay, well, looks like none of the game's working, if there even are any games to begin with. Um, let's just press three for the calculator program. Okay, it says enter an operation. Uh, I'm just gonna do plus here. Okay, there we go. Enter first number, let's do nine. Uh, generic error. Okay, does nine not work? Do you have to do like five or something? Generic error. Zero, generic error. Okay, it looks like any key I press just makes it say generic error. So uh, does escape get out of this? Okay, escape works to get out of that. So I guess the calculator doesn't really work at all. Or maybe I was just a one-time thing. Let's, let's just try the calculator again. Uh, I'll just try division this time. Oh, it's a division by zero error again. Uh, let's just press escape. Okay, we're back to this. Yep. So, I guess the only things left are these things. We can, we already got help. Uh, let's try configuring the settings. No items found. Huh? I don't know why it says no items found. Uh, let's just press uh, escape to get it. Oh, frick, I pressed the wrong key. Uh, you press the wrong key, you idiot. Time for this system to die. What? Okay, why? Uh, oh, whatever. Uh, okay, let's press this key. Oh. Oh, it just says error in all caps and with an exclamation point. That's interesting. Can we do anything about this? I'm just pressing escape. I'm pressing, like, every single key. None of them do anything besides just print another error. So I don't really know what's happening. I guess I guess I have to restart once again. Okay, let's just turn it back on and it will boot. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. Um, so I guess the only thing left to do is just to shut it down because, you know, I'm done with whatever this is. Nothing seems to work, like, at all. Um, you know, I thought this would work at least somewhat, but it's none of, none of these features seem to work at all. So, you know, this is evidently a very terrible operating system. Uh, I'm just going to shut this down. Whoa. Fatal error. Well, I just got a red fatal error screen. And nothing does anything, so. Oh, no, it's beeping again. Okay. So, you know, I guess that didn't really work at all. I can't even shut down without causing, apparently, a fatal error, so. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, uh, turn it off, and, um, okay, I suppose that's it for whatever Zegosoft 1 is supposed to be, so. I suppose that's it for this video. Uh, I'm just gonna, 
like stop recording and uh, see you next time, I guess, whatever I do next. Bye.